Are you considering in getting a new dog or maybe you already have two female dogs? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over a few things that you should know about before or even during your ownership. Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth and I have my two female dogs with me in the room. They're currently sleeping. I have Misty here. She's my Velcro dog. And I have Nixie sleeping behind the camera right now. Normally, this is how they cohabit when we're in the living room. And yes, we got a new couch, yay! Now, I wanna start off with a disclaimer here. I'm not a professional dog trainer or dog behavioralist. I've just owned and grown up with dogs for over 20 years. And these are just my personal experiences and observations. If you have any serious issues, please contact a professional trainer or a behavioralist to help you with those issues. So the first thing you should know when getting two feet female dogs is there's gonna be competition lots of competition it could be subtle or it could be major sometimes it could be hard for owners to even miss these signs uh, warning signs of the competition and usually it occurs in the presence of the owner a few of the things that they may be competing over are their sleeping areas toys food treats and even attention from the owner and the reason I'm making this video is because I actually experienced competition between my two females a couple weeks ago I actually had to have my husband help and break them up because since I am their person that is always there and their leader I could confuse them and make the situation worse so it had to be someone else to step in to break up that confrontation before any bloodshed and work on some of those problems now what happens during these confrontations well one can feel challenged by the other and they may have felt the need to send them back down the hierarchy ladder there's some people talking out there hopefully you didn't hear any background noise by applying a no fight policy in your household and also intervene before anything escalates or anything bad happens is an effective way of reaching that symbiotic relationship between all dogs in the family. Working on desensitizing, counter conditioning, and redirection. And you also have to make sure that they are each bonded to you and not to each other. So what can cause these fights? One of the things that can cause these fights are hormones. It's a hormonal induced fight. So I recently just got Misty here spayed a week ago. I did spay Nixie as well about a month ago. Mm -hmm. So if it is a hormonally induced fight, spaying may help. But of course, there are always exceptions. But if that's not an option, then keeping them separated during heat cycles is the best option. Now, another reason that can cause fights is age. Misty is maturing into adulthood. She's 20 months old, so she's reaching maturity now. And that's about the time when if you have multiple dogs, one of them could be challenging the older one for that leadership position. The next reason could be overexcitement. Are you you just returning home and it's been a while since your babies have seen you that can cause overexcitement it can lead to confrontations if they're fighting over your attention and they can't control themselves maybe they are returning home I, I noticed the fight happened once I have Misty and Lincoln inside the house and Nixie spends her alone time and then she comes and returns back home she got territorial over her sleeping area which used to be in our old couch on top so now what I'm doing is is she's just gonna have her separate sleeping area that is not on top of the couch because this is at a higher level and when she would be up here she would get more aggressive or lead to more fights she got her couch privileges taken away until the issue subsides and so if she's similar levels to everyone else then it will minimize that issue another reason could be instability in the home are your routines the same or do they change from day to day dogs love routine they strive on routine and having some thing to do now the next reason can be improper communication there are dogs that actually don't know how to properly communicate with each other they lack that communication skills one dog is reading their body language or their facial expressions even their ears their posture their stance they may be reading that wrong and that can lead to confrontations the next reason could be breed types terriers now mixing terriers with other dogs more than likely can lead to confrontations since terriers 
warriors tend to have more of an aggressive nature. There always are some exceptions. Within each breed, you can have different personalities and that could be the exception. But for the most part, those tend to lead to more disputes than other calmer breeds. And also genetics. For example, in toy breeds, the males tend to be difficult to house train. I used to have a toy breed. His name was Nemo and he just did not like my male Rottweiler. And my male Rottweiler, he was the calmest thing ever. But I, I did have a toy with a large breed and that did lead to confrontations from time to time. And in that case, I would just have to keep them separated. And also in strong guarding breeds, the males tend to be not suitable for the novice owners. And the last thing could be timing. It is always recommended to wait at least two years before adding a new addition to your family since it takes two years for your first dog to fully integrate with your family. As you can see with their ages, Lincoln, I actually did not do this, but that is the opposite gender and either way, I'm very very committed to having that peaceful relationship between our family and the dogs. I am also home so they are always supervised and they always have my full attention. It takes commitment. If you do choose to add another female, do your research in their breeds and their personalities and we have a routine that makes for success in the relationship and remember that prevention is best. Set them up for success. If you're interested to know what kind of activities I do or you can even do to help further strengthen that bond between your two dogs you can go ahead and click this video right here and I also have another video to see if you have the qualities to own multiple dogs right here thanks for watching see you in the next one bye